While many of us are unsure of the future and the stability of the economy, there is one thing we do know. We all need to eat. It sounds simple enough, but many residents in the city of New Brunswick struggle to find means to do this every day. That's why the New Brunswick Farmer's Market has taken the initiative to feed the underserved. In the last 12 months, the cost of food has risen by 10%. The basic cost of living and health care has also increased and thus has made obtaining fresh fruits and vegetables difficult for some residents in the New Brunswick area. As a result, many low-income families are turning to emergency food assistance programs such as Elijah's Promise for their basic food necessities. The New Brunswick Farmers Market hopes to provide an alternative resource for food at an affordable price. I spoke with President McCormick about his thoughts on the New Brunswick Farmers Market and what he hopes will be accomplished by its continued presence. I'm here to help celebrate the opening of the New Brunswick Community Farm Market. It's a partnership between Rutgers and Johnson & Johnson and it, it's going to, going to enable citizens of New Brunswick to get fresh fro produce, healthy food onto their tables for their families shopping right here in town. For more than 50 years, Rutgers has been committed to uh, good values in nutrition and food science and health and in spreading information about that all across New Jersey. So here we are right in our hometown making fresh food available to uh, families of modest means who, uh, who, who need and deserve fresh fruits and vegetables on their tables. Some of the people here have dreamed of doing this for about five years, but the planning began intensively about a year ago. In a global recession, even in a fairly wealthy state like New Jersey, there are many people who are having trouble affording food to put on their family's tables or who are unable to buy fresh and healthy food. So this is an effort to address both of those problems right here in New Brunswick. Sponsored by the School of Environmental and Biological Sciences, the New Jersey Agricultural Experiment Station, and Johnson & Johnson, the New Brunswick Farmers Market will answer the needs of a culturally diverse city by featuring signs in English and Spanish and provide a bilingual staff for assistance. I'm here today because I heard about the Farmers Market and I decided to come over and show some um, artwork in color. It's my hope that we will bring farm fresh produce to people who may not have an opportunity to get it. So by bringing it to the city, it makes it a little bit easier on the people who may not have transportation to the farm. Uh, we have a roadside stand at home, so if they couldn't get to the stand, at least we can bring the produce to them. Things are just gonna be fresher and, and better. I think probably the possibility of finding uh, organically grown things is gonna be higher. I never seen anything like this before in uh, New Brunswick. So it's, it's really interesting, it's very nice, and I'm from the neighborhood, so uh, it, I like it. The success of today's festivities are merely a glimpse into the long-term goals of the New Brunswick Farmers Market. Over time, it is sure to provide the necessary tools and resources needed to revitalize the city itself and allow its residents to obtain the proper food and nutrition necessary to everyday life. For RUTV, I'm Marianne de Padua. For more information on the New Brunswick Community Farmers Market, visit www.nbcfarmersmarket.com.